Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's later in the day on Monday. Very interesting day as far as Mondays go because now I only have one call and that call went pretty quickly. So I've just been kind of running back and forth between doing personal shit and day job shit all day. Currently just went and picked up a package and now I'm on my way to the chiropractor because it's been a while and I need to go to the chiropractor. So yeah, I'm gonna take care of that. It is, because I know you're interested, currently 92 degrees, sunny, sweltering, but not as sweltering as it was yesterday or the day before. I have a feeling this week, well, I don't have a feeling. I mean, it says it's gonna be pretty much be in the upper 80s, 90s all week. And um, yeah, that's gonna suck especially if it's all schwitzy. So I've been playing around in my little monkey melon, trying to figure out what I'm trying to do and accomplish and you know what it, where I wanna go. I tried to log into Patreon because I've been talking about creating a Patreon for like three years. I just never felt like I had anything to offer worthy of having a Patreon. I probably still don't, but I know I can produce content for it which is kind of the point. So all that being said, I think that having it and having to produce content for it will make me produce more content. So I have content to offer in said Patreon. So I tried to log in because I, again, in my little monkey melon, thought that I had created a Patreon a while ago, but just never used it. I sent a password reset to myself, never got it, and then I thought to myself, well, screw it. Let me create an account and see if it tells me, you know, that, that I've used that email before. And it didn't. <laughs> so I'm surprised it didn't tell me that when I asked to have a password reset sent to me. But who can explain that shit? Whatever. So I created a Patreon. Now, I haven't done like an extensive creation and done tiers and a welcome and all that kind of shit. I basically just created it. I linked a few of my social media accounts and you know went through and just looked it over but it's going to take more time for me to sit there and create something that's going to be compelling enough for people to even remotely considering paying me money for it so at this point now here's the way i look at this i have said since i restarted this a couple of years ago that my interest wasn't to become like a million plus follower subscriber whatever entity, uh, what do they call them, influencer or any of that kind of shit on YouTube. I just loved doing all this stuff and wanted to do it in such a way that it was fun for me. And I wasn't really interested in monetizing anything because then it would become just another job. And when I used to do photography back in Chicago, I lived, ate, breathed, shit, slept, photography. Like, I was all about it, all in. Everything I did was along the vein of me doing photography. And I loved everything about it. And I loved shooting everything. I had a great time. It was awesome. Until I started charging and trying to get jobs. Then it became another shitty job. That is what started my distaste for models because so many were so flaky and flaked out on me. And I just, I was like, I'm done. It took a friend coaxing me back into it to do boudoir photography for her that, that even got me shooting again. So thank you to her. Okay, now segue to me getting the job that I have now, day job, which I've had for going on eight years. When I first got the job, I like quadrupled my income. At that time, it did afford me the opportunity to go out and purchase new better gear which i did at the time i was shooting canon and i was shooting a really old canon 40d and i had a rebel i think it was a t3i as my second body and i had three lenses which i talk about all the time 24 to 70 l lens 70 to 200 l lens and a 51.4 it's the only lenses i had for canon then when i got this job and i moved here i was like screw it i can afford more better blah 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 and I bought a Canon 6D full frame. There I was with a 6D 
I had the money to be able to afford a nicer camera and I didn't need nicer lenses because I had their L lenses, which are top of the line, but I didn't have any time to actually go out and shoot because I was doing this damn day job seven days a week, 18 hours a day, and it still wasn't enough for them. Okay, here we are eight years later and I can do this job with my eyes closed. It affords me the opportunity to be able to get the gear that I've bought, which is what I've done. Now keep in mind, I always give us a denim. I don't drink alcohol. I don't do drugs. I don't go on vacations. I don't buy a lot of clothing. I buy camera gear. I buy electronics. That's what I do. The stuff that I buy, I use all the time, every day. I mean, not everything every day, but you get the point. I use everything and that's why I bought it. The stuff that I don't use, some of the littler shit, goes into the magical drawers to be repurposed sometimes two and three years later, but I don't buy like super expensive shoes and crazy suits and all that kind of shit that I'm never gonna wear or do with anything. But I do buy G Master lenses. I do buy camera bodies. It took me a while to get to the point where I am now where I finally figured out the gear that I like and I've got, and I'm fantastically happy with that. Now, I'm like, okay, well, I've got all this fantastic gear, but I'm not shooting anything, you know, really. I mean, I am, but I'm not. I have over 600 videos posted. I shoot and post just about every single day. I think that I can safely say that I use my gear and that I share it. Now I do that with the video stuff, but I don't always share as many of my still photos as I should. Now granted, I do post to my Instagram, I do post to my view bug, I do throw stuff up on some of the groups I'm on, in Facebook and things like that. I don't have a website really anymore because I stopped shooting human beings and that's kind of where I had that. But I wanna start shooting human beings. I've been saying that for two years. So I'm still working on that. Now that being said, I have had models reach out to me. Unfortunately, every single time, it's unfortunate timing. I, I, I can't do it. So it's out there, it's looming in the horizon, I just have to get there and make it happen. That's kind of where I'm going with this whole spiel, is that I have the gear, I have the infrastructure, I have the lifestyle and the time to do all this stuff. Now I need to start doing it more than I do and sharing more of it. Hence the Patreon, which is going to make me share more of it. Now, do I expect to be making millions of dollars from people scrambling to throw money at me because of my photography and my videography? No. I, I mean, if I get anything, that's great. If I don't, oh well. Am I gonna get monetized on YouTube? Maybe, eventually. If I don't, oh well. Am I gonna create a website and, and add a retail portion to it so I start selling prints? Maybe. Am I gonna make a ton of money on it? Probably not. And if I don't, oh well. See where I'm going with this? Like, I'm gonna do this because, well, hell, I might as well. I have nothing to lose by adding that, that monetary side to it because my life isn't dependent on it. I am not doing YouTube and that's it, where I'm only doing YouTube and I need that to pay to live. I have a day job for that shit. So again, I have nothing to lose and because I don't have the pressure of having to produce something that's going to get me money, then any money that I get is just gravy on top of the fun that I'm having. That's kind of where I was going with all this and why I was going to explain it to you because I am going to start now plugging my Patreon. I am gonna start maybe selling prints, especially like my bird stuff and all that kind of crap. And I'm going to start sincerely looking for professional models to do photo shoots with me. And meaning I'm gonna to have to come up with ideas and all that kind of stuff and finding the right models. That's all I wanted to talk about. I'm about to get to the chiropractor. There's no point in blathering on anymore. Just wanted to give you a sense of the direction that the monkey's heading into and, and some reasoning behind it. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hold on, I'm going into my turn. And remember kids, forward and up.